You're listening to The Cultured Bumpkin, a literature podcast with Jake Phillips, where we present audiobook quality readings of the classics for your enjoyment. Thank you for stopping by. And remember, just because you're a bumpkin doesn't mean you can't be cultured. Hey, hey, and welcome to The Cultured Bumpkin. We've had a lot of new subscribers and first-time listeners lately, so I just want to say hello. Uh, If you love uh, poetry, short stories, uh, excerpts from classic books, that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. I hope you'll subscribe, uh, tell a friend, etc. Either I or a guest narrator usually, you know, read some kind of poem on here and that kind of thing. So it's just a place for literature lovers to get a little fix of classic literature, uh, usually in a bite-sized portion. Sometimes it's longer if it's a, you know, a story or something like that. But anyway, thank you very much for listening. And today, um, we'll jump right in. A little about me. I'm a professional voice actor. It's what I do for a living, but this is, you know, it's a passion of mine is, is literature and I like to you know, get other people listening to it too, because there's so much good stuff that's been written that's kind of lost in the dustbin of history because nobody listens to that kind of thing anymore. So if you're the kind of person that enjoys classic literature, you know, I think you're cool. So I'm a voice actor and I'm a John Keats fan. He's one of my favorites. Ode to a Nightingale, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, he wrote this poem called to sleep. So he had a lot of, um, you know, odes to things, ode to a Grecian urn, you know, he would write poetry to stuff. And this one is called to sleep. And it's like he's writing to sleep. Uh, I guess that's why I named it that. I don't know. And I love it. It's beautiful. And it's sort of relaxing. And it makes you want to go take a nap or go to bed. So without further ado, to sleep by John Keats. O soft embalmer of the still midnight, shutting with careful fingers and benign our gloom-pleased eyes, embowered from the light, enshaded in forgetfulness divine. O soothest sleep, if so it please thee, close in midst of this thine hymn my willing eyes or wait the amen ere thy poppy throws around my bed its lulling charities. Then save me, or the past day will shine upon my pillow, breeding many woes. Save me from curious conscience that still lords its strength for darkness, burrowing like a mole. Turn the key deftly in the oiled wards and seal the hushed casket of my soul. Isn't that great? Like it makes you want to lay down and and, uh, sort of power down, take a nap, go to bed. I like it. I like that. Hope you did too. If you enjoy this kind of thing, please subscribe. uh, Rate it if you haven't done so and uh, tell a friend. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you very much for listening. You've been listening to The Cultured Bumpkin, a literature podcast with Jake Phillips. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, would you mind going and subscribing and leaving a nice review on whatever podcast platform podcast platform you heard this on? I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next time.